Hey everybody, I wanted to come on and share a few, it's going to be a small haul, um, little items we picked up today, Black Friday, well, let me first say, um, thank you so much to all you ladies who had messaged me and emailed me, um, with your get well wishes, I appreciate it guys, um, I feel almost 100% better, I actually went to, um, the urgent care, uh, the day before, um, Thanksgiving and they put me on some antibiotics. Um, so I have like, a, a sinus infection, bronchitis, and as soon as I took the, um, antibiotics started on that the next day, I just felt so much better. And I believe I explained to you guys or told you guys um, earlier this week, I went to the urgent care for the same reason. Um, and they did x-rays and said they didn't find pneumonia. And I believe even bronchitis. I'm not sure if you can, um, see bronchitis on an x-ray. I could be wrong about that part. But she said, they said that they didn't see anything. Um, and just gave me the, uh, pregazone and a cough suppressant. It didn't do nothing. So, yeah, I had to go back and get an antibiotic. So I am feeling much, much better. Thank you, ladies. Um, and I also want to wish you guys a happy belated Thanksgiving. Um, I hope you all had a nice time with your family, loved ones, friends. Or even if you decided to stay home and cook a dinner for yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Um... We went to my mom's and, you know, just had dinner and hung out and um, had a good time. So we had a good Thanksgiving. Black Friday. I never, ever do Black Friday shopping. I'm just not, I can't stand in line. I'm too impatient for that. And, you know, I don't like fighting, you know, over electronics or anything. So I just try to, um, you know, stay away from all that mess. There's always something that goes on. I mean, people die over a TV, you know. Um, but we did go later on during the day and picked up uh, some things. Of course, I can't share everything with you guys, so this is going to be a smaller haul. But I wanted to come on anyway. Um, so we went to Michael's. We stopped at Home Depot and Walmart. Like I said, it's going to be a small one, but... Um, I'm going to start with, and we missed everything. They had no, nothing on sale. Well, Michael's had their little 50, 60, 70% off certain items. Um, the 25% off your total purchase coupon ended at noon. So all the coupons, you know, ended and either everything was sold out. And I even went online yesterday, um, at Michael's because I wanted to, get i don't know is it ashlyn the brand or that collection they had a snow globe or a snow globe oh geez they have a window decoration with santa and the little bambi deer kind of looking out the window you just hang it on your wall well i had my eyes on that for like since i've seen it since they put it out um and i was like well let me jump online and order it you know there's they had online coupons so i get on there sold out I swear everything that I looked at was either not, was sold only in stores or out of stock. There was nothing. Um, so I went into a few Michaels and they were all sold out. I was so bummed, guys. I'm always the one telling you guys, if you see something you want it, you better get it because you ain't going to get it once it's gone. Kicking myself in the butt again over that one. But I'm not sure. I don't think they restock on these, uh, the Christmas decorations and stuff. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to keep my eye out for that um, picture frame. So I picked up a few things that I can share with you guys. So this was literally the last snow globe. You guys know I'm collecting my little Christmas snow globes. Um, I honestly didn't care if I got this one. It is cute. I love the little snowman. I just like the other two better. Um, but I think this brand was 70% off. I think I paid $9 for it and it was 30 bucks, $30 originally. A little music box. So I'm going to put that downstairs in my cabinet with the other ones. 
this is another little thing from the collection that I wanted before they sold out. If you guys watch my videos, I have a, the standing one. And I actually have another one that I must have bought last year that I forgot all about. So that one is um, sitting on a table. And when I took it out of the box, I'm like, I just bought one of these. I absolutely forgot. So I got one up here. I'm keeping one in my craft room and then one downstairs for decorations. Um, but I did want the sitting one. I'm I'm loving these little Bambies. And again, these were 70% off. Isn't it just cute? He, she, it. It's cute. Um, and then I just got a, these little glittered boots with the furs and a little pom-pom. Just an ornament. And I'm actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it as an ornament. I can clip it and just use it for a table decoration. All right. I got one wooden stamp. Uh, this was actually located in with the everyday wood stamps that they have at Michael's. Um, I just like the saying, the most wonderful time of the year. Just, I don't use, and I have quite a bit of uh, wood stamps, and I don't use them um, like I should. I use Claire stamps the most. And it's nice just to have a wood stamp. It's right there. You can just stamp it. You don't have to peel anything, pull everything out. Um, so I was happy to get that. And then we picked up two. And this was another item online, but I guess it's only sold in, in stores. Um, and these were 72. It's just the uh, decorative LED candles. I This is driving me nuts. I don't know why... It's so close. Um, and it's by Ashlyn, originally $30. So they all, it has a little ro remote control. They were only $10. Um, so I got the white. It's just a white glitter. It does have like a little line decoration, but um, I got this for upstairs. So I got that one. Like I said, these would be for those who. Like stuff like this. I would have bought my mom one, but she's not into. She likes her real candles. She don't want nothing to do with a fake candle. Um, and then this is the one that I seen online that I wanted. And this one is going downstairs. Isn't that pretty? All that glitter and the must the battery must have ran out of there. So we got those two, and I think it was just today for ten bucks. A lot of the red and white was sold out, too. They had solid red. They had gold. Those are pretty for decorations. All right. And then we just got Gigi a little ballerina. She can color put little pom-poms on. I think all the kids' crafts were only 40% off Black Friday. I can believe Walmart. Walmart had absolutely no sales. They must have just good sales on electronic stuff. And they all sold out. Okay, those, and then I did, I went ahead and bought a few more um, sticker sets, just recollection, um, sticker sets for my stash, and these ones, I honestly didn't need any more of them, but they're so cute, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you have one or five of them, and then these cute little candy canes. I think all the paper crafting were 50% uh, off. All right, and the hot buy paper pads were $4.99, and if you made it by noon and had that 25% off your total purchase, you would have obviously got everything for cheaper. Um, and I was online searching for a 25% off, too, and it's all. It was in the morning, afternoon. Um, so I went ahead and got another one of the um, hot buys. All right, Michaels, and then I just, two more little things. The wrapping paper was $3.00. That is not a good sale. These are originally $5. You can use a coupon and get it cheaper than three. Um, I already have this one, but I repurchased it just because I love the little um, mugs and hot chocolate and pretty colors too. All right, hold that. And this one I did pick up today. I did want this one. This one actually um, coordinates with the tin gift card holder I shared with you guys, I don't know, last week. Um, I'm not going to use it as a gift card holder. I'm going to add some goodies to it or see what I can do. Um, but I got the same wrapping paper. I am so loving that little snowman and the style. Where's Santa? Santa's so cute. Oh, he's in there somewhere. 
a little deer. So I got that yet. Those are the ones I got. And again, I could have waited and got them cheaper. All right, I think that's all I can share from Michael's. Um, what, uh, a lot of stuff I can't uh, show, but I do want to show these few little things. I got Gigi this little um, Christmas book, perfect for us. We live in New York. Santa is coming to New York. It was eleven sixty eight, a little pricey, but me and her likes reading books. And, well, she likes Mommy reading her books. And I thought this would be a fun um, Christmas book to read to her. And it has the, you know, Statue of Liberty in there. Just all fun stuff she can, uh, you know, just a nice little book. Look at why Mommy reads to her. I went ahead and got a box. I had my eyes on these. Not for the reason I bought them today. Um... These were $10, and they are indoor snowballs for a snowball fight, I guess. You get 20 of them. These are so fluffy. There's quite a few of you ladies on Instagram are making these super cute little snowmen, um, you know, and it's kind of sitting them on the little, to, you know, those little, what are they, dipping containers. You can get them from Dollar Tree. Well, they're kind of sitting them, gluing them on that, on the top of it, and putting, like, sequins or glitter in there, just, you know, using it as packaging, and they are absolutely adorable. So hopefully these work just for that. They're fluffy as a little snowman. I'm not sure which ones they used, uh, but I got them. So hopefully they work. And what else from Walmart? I think that's uh, pretty much it. I brought this bag up. It didn't need to come up here, but I did get shampoo and conditioner i haven't used that brand in a while i like to switch up my shampoo um like every week or two weeks maybe a week and a half two weeks and then i was i needed um hairspray and if i don't if i use the same um shampoo conditioner all the time your hair just starts feeling yucky i don't know how to explain it but i switch it up every so often and then i just repurchased the dollar ninety seven plastic ornaments. So I got that. It's a little has little fuzzies in there. And then we went to Home Depot. I swear my husband was at Home Depot. I think maybe four times today. I only went with him once. He was um fixing his grandma's um wash machine. So so we went there. He picked up one of the big packs of batteries these are must-haves and well needed during the season and then this was a must-have as well we had to get a little lock to put on the the door up here i have little eyeballs that are curious and want to snoop around so we got that to prevent that and let me show you these we got some uh, decorations uh, for good prices. I'm going to take this off. Hopefully I don't die. Okay, so I'm going to wind you guys over this way. Alright, so he wanted me to come in to look at these plastic um, candy kings for outdoor decoration. They light up. They were actually really cute. Until I seen this little snowman. He was only All of these were only $24 each. And they're, you know, I I think 60, maybe 70 bucks, 80 bucks. Um, and they are LED lights. I think that snowman is absolutely adorable. They are heavy. Um, let me show you guys. They do light up. So the little presents, Christmas tree, and his little scarf. Look at that little face, guys. And I'm glad that they're weighted, too. And then there's good old St. Nick. Little teddy bear in his little bag holding a reef. And I think the bell lights up, too. And these are, th well, this one is three feet. Isn't he cute? How tall is this one? It's a little bit shorter. Oh, three feet. Yeah. Um, and then this one, too. We got for 24, and he lights up as well. So you guys know we bought the snowman and Santa... Wasn't he cute? Where am I? Right here. Sorry. 
So he does. He lights up as well. And he is three feet, three point four feet. Eh, four feet. He's bigger than other ones. Um, the ones from Michael's. My he was like, well, let's take those ones out and let's put those ones in. And I'm like, no, we had already decorated it. Everything is plugged in, and they're gonna sit there. Um, and then next year we'll do these. Maybe we'll, you know, put these next to the Christmas tree, or we'll find a place for them. But for that price, I was like, yes. Um, I went when I went on Michael's last night. I was just looking because I usually never go on the website, and they had tons of soup. These. Right here, the LED outdoor um, decorations, even on sale, they were hundred. There were some that were seven hundred, eight hundred, fifteen hundred dollars um, on sale for. I guess it was a uh, Black Friday sale, but no, way way overpriced. And I mean, you can't find them in stores; it's only online. But I was happy to get these for the price that I did. So I'm be about that and I think that pretty much sums up my little haul I'm I have a very small AliExpress haul I'm gonna come on and do right after this video so if you're interested please stop back by um, and thank you guys so much for again for all your get well wishes I appreciate you ladies um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'm always sharing something on my channel. And uh, until next time, guys, stay warm. Be safe out there. It's the holiday season. You know, all these weirdos and sickos and perverts are out. They know, you know, the moms and daughters um, are out a lot, especially Walmart stores, Targets. Um, so keep your eyes. Be very alert. Especially nowadays, you know, with the holidays. Um, yeah, make sure you... I've been watching videos on YouTube about sex trafficking. And these people are... Um, there's these men just going to women in Target parking lots and Walmart. Um, you know, and trying to lure them in, in the car to... I've been hearing a lot about that. Um, so that's, you know, just... Don't fall for their little fake stories. They need help and their child and mother and grandmother and ran out of gas and lost their damn pet and all that other crazy sh they talk about. Um, Just walk away. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, I will chat with you guys soon, guys. Bye.